guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. Today I have a really exciting video to film, at least it's really exciting for me, because, okay, if you've been with my channel for a little bit, I know I've only been doing this for a year, but you know that I am somebody who really likes and has a huge interest in brands that are either more gender neutral with their marketing or market towards men specifically, and just are really trying to expand on like the nail polish market and um, their demographic in general. And wouldn't you know it, the very first brand to reach out to me to ask if they could send me some PR for like review is one of those brands. And I am just really thrilled about that. So just to start off this video, I would like to say like just a huge thank you to M from Moxie Nail Varnish for asking me to you know take a look at this stuff and asking me for my feedback and letting me make a video on this because I'm just really thrilled to showcase a new brand on my channel and showcase a brand that you know is really gunning for some really positive things which I will highlight throughout this video. So I've talked about this before but really the big reason that I like brands like this is because I was a super masculine child. I really struggled to reconcile the masculinity that I wanted to portray as a kid with my interests in more feminine type hobbies or like hobbies that were deemed feminine by society. And it caused a lot of turmoil for me for a really long time until I was in my 20s when I finally realized, who cares, you know? And the fact that I can see now like products like this, nail polish, makeup, like a lot of fashion now marketed to everybody and marketed to men and marketed, you know, just as like a neutral thing more and more. Man, I wish that was around when I was a kid. I feel like it would have saved me a lot of internal stress. So that's why I really like to speak on these brands because I just feel like, you know, it really helped. It, it would have really helped me as a kid and I hope that it um, reaches a lot of people who need it. So let me just give you kind of like the basic overview and then I will show you the swatch and review of these polishes and then at the end I'm going to tell you some really cool projects that this brand has displayed on their website and give you a little sneak peek into something that's coming soon. So first of all M Ruiz is a former nail tech and this was a seems like a goal to create a gender neutral nail polish line and the website says that M has experience working and consulting with a lot of indie brands. So we've got some experience on the table as far as that goes. And then as far as products go, we have nail polish and it is all made in house. It is non-toxic, vegan, cruelty free and made in the US. Now, when I saw cruelty free, I, like I said before in a previous video, I'm still kind of breaking my like grounds into that. So I don't know a ton, but I do remember Cork Manicure saying one of the most important things about cruelty free is that you can't just say it, you have to show your, your qualifications. You know, this is something you have to register for. So I looked on the website and I didn't see anything. And so I reached out to M and asked, you know, are you going to register for cruelty free status or do you have that already? And if so, is it displayed on the site anywhere? And I got instant feedback saying that all of their, um, all of their ingredients are cruelty free and they are working on applying for that status right now. So it uh, isn't official yet, but it will be. They also have nail oil, top coats, um, a matte and a glossy, and nail polish remover. I only have the nail polish here for you today, so that's what I'm going to talk about, but I just wanted to let you know they do have a variety of products. These are supposed to be one to two coat coverage. For my nail length, I found mostly it takes two for me, but if I apply it just right, I can get one coat coverage. However, I don't really care about one coat coverage because even if it is one coat, I always use two, but you will see in the live swatches um, how they do cover my nail length and, um, and you can kind of make your judgment from there. They state to be a quick dry formula, which I felt was pretty accurate. Um, it took a lot less time in between layers to when I was doing my swatch photos. They seemed to dry down fairly quickly, but not so quickly that you couldn't manipulate and work with them. So I feel like that's a plus as well. And then it said they're infused with argan oil, which as we all know is a pretty common ingredient in like nail oils and cuticle oils. So that's gotta be good for your nails, right? 
So I have four colors to show you today. They are all creams. They have um, a couple like fun finishes, but nothing too crazy yet. I'm not sure if they're going to expand into that, but I'm going to show you the you know regular uh, live swatches, show you my full hand swatch, and then we will talk about some really cool stuff the brand is doing at the end. So the first polish I swatched was called Love. This is one of those kind of Tiffany blues. It almost reminds me of Essie's mint candy apple but with a better formula and this one i was really shocked to see just how well it covered my long nails in the one coat um all of these cover pretty well in one coat i will say though for me personally i needed two for everything i always need two for everything even when i don't need two but you can see it dries down super quickly i think i waited um, a minute and a half to two minutes in between coats here and it was mostly dry and with that second coat, you can see you achieve that full coverage completely easily. I don't see any visible nail line with this, even though it's a lighter color. That's a really good sign already. And here is my swatch photo. I definitely love this color. The next color we have is called Street Smart. Now this tone of blue, at least where I live, is very popular around this time of year, like in the fall and winter time. It seems like kind of a very chic go-to color. What this color reminds me of, however, is um, if you've ever used a computer, it reminds me of the blue screen of death you used to get on Windows when something went wrong and your computer just went full error mode. So this color kind of scares me a little bit. And I was surprised that I saw more visible nail line with such a dark color than I did with the, uh, the lighter blue love. But uh, just like with all of these, you're gonna see full coverage in two coats. No visible nail line, no streaks. I found that mine leveled out pretty well and um, it was easy to control. It didn't go running into my cuticle line there. And um, one thing I will say is if you do have a polish that you find is a little bit too thick, all you gotta do is try warming it up between your hands and you probably will have solved the issue. Next we have Warrior and this is a uh, dusty gray color. You know me, I do love gray polish. I have plenty of gray polishes and this one was a happy add to my collection. This one has a pretty good coverage on that first coat just like all the others and it is a little bit darker on the nail I found than it looked in the bottle but that's okay with me. I really like these kinds of colors. Again it self levels pretty well and it dries down fairly quickly. And then with that second coat, you will see the full coverage again. There we go. Um, not too much to say about like difference in formula. These are all pretty equivalent. I didn't have any issues with any one in particular that I didn't see in any others. I didn't have any issues at all, to be quite honest. And um, I really like these polishes. Here is my swatch photo. I almost want to say there's kind of a hint of blue in this gray. And then up last we have Truth. Now I always swatch reds last because I'm a messy remover and reds just get all over my skin. And I, while this is no exception to that, this was one I did not want to take off. That With that first coat, I was like, oh my gosh, this color is so vibrant, so candy-like. It kind of reminds me of a uh, like red sucker or something like that. And you can see a little bit of my nail line with that first coat but when you go in with the second coat totally full coverage I was so thrilled with this red it's been a long time since I found a red that I was excited to wear because wearing reds just makes me nervous because like I said I am very messy when it comes to red I don't know it's almost like I'm so afraid that I'm gonna make a mess that I just instantly make a mess to fulfill my prophecy but here you see it's like perfect for Christmas, perfect for a night out. I'm excited to wear this again. So what did you guys think? As far as my favorite goes of what I was sent, uh, when I first opened the boxes and I saw these two specifically, I saw the gray one, Warrior, and the kind of more Tiffany blue color, Love. I was like, it's definitely going to be one of these two because I love grays and I love any kind of like Tiffany blue, Robin's Egg blue, you know me. If you've watched my channel for a little bit, you know that those are colors I harp on a lot. And I swatched the red one last because I was like, I, I always get nervous with reds because I'm, <laughs> I'm really messy with removal. 
and I get it everywhere and then my skin is pink for the rest of my swatches and I'm just like okay so I have to do the reds last but when I put this on my uh nails I was like oh my gosh like this red I don't know if it's just me but man I thought it looked so good it looked like candy. I was like really into this one. I didn't want to even take it off. I had other swatches to do and I was like, oh, but I want to wear this one forever. And beforehand, like before I swatched this one, my favorite kind of candy colored red was Essie's Forever Yummy, but this 100% knocked it off of that pedestal. This one looks so much nicer and it has more coverage than the Essie one does. So if, like you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of reds i would say grab this one because it is really nice so regarding price they are 12.95 a piece but right now they are running a special they are 20 percent off which brings them down to ten dollars and 36 cents each um i think that's pretty good for an indie brand that is mixed in house and um i have a little bit of a sneak peek for you guys on November 12th, this bottle is going to go live that I'm showing you in the picture right here. Currently, it's a more rounded, like, I like to call it like chubby. It's like a little chubby square. But they're going to be coming those like more sharp angular squares. Not sharp, but like just not as like rounded, not as a soft corner. And I like that, like this new one better because I feel like they're going to fit more closely together. And it looks like more uniform in your drawers. But, um... It looks like it has the removable cap piece, kind of like this. I've heard some people call this a Chanel cap, but I'm not sure. However, if those caps are anything like this one, they are pretty firmly affixed. So, like, you can twist and use the cap with the square as what you're holding onto, or you can pop that piece off and use the round piece. I found that there was no, like, slippage when you're trying to twist it, like with, um... Like, I tried to open the Butter London caps using, like, the square, like, rectangular grip, but I've always had to pull it off because it just, it almost, like, strips the inside of it. So, that's just a fun little sneak peek for you guys. And it looks like the brush itself is going to get a little bit wider. It's going to be more like that paddle brush, which I'm fine with both brush styles, so it's more just a matter of personal preference, but um, that's kind of up to you guys to decide if you like that style of brush or not. Finally, I just wanted to highlight a few of the programs that they have talked about on their website that I thought were really interesting. I haven't really seen from other brands and I just thought it would be really cool to highlight here. So number one, they have a place where you can submit your own color. You can send them like a swatch or just a photo of something that you had inspiration from. And if they choose your color idea, you not only get 10 free bottles of that color, but you also get 20% commission for the first 30 days that that polish is being sold, which is pretty cool. They're gonna have an inspiration page and they're gonna have just real people wearing their polishes. And if you wanna submit a photo, you're able to. If they use your photo, it sounds like you get a free bottle of nail polish. So, and they give you credit for the photo. So if you have like an Instagram or something, and then the last thing that they're doing is something called Profiles of Moxie. And so I'm just going to read it directly off their website. They say Moxie can be defined as spirit, courage, determination, and tenacity. And so basically what this means is that if you feel like you have made a difference and stepped up in any way in your life, you can nominate yourself and they're going to go through a lot of these self-nominations, these profiles, and choose three people for 2022 and profile all three of those people on the website, talk about what they've done, how they've made an impact, how they have made a difference in the world. And then they will get to co-create a nail polish with Moxie and they get to name it and everything like that. And then for the next six months, 30% of the net proceeds of their nail polish is going to be donated to an organization of their choice and you even get like an affiliate link so that you can um, generate and track sales for that nail polish shade. So I thought that was a pretty cool way to also give back to the community. So that is Moxie Nail Varnish. I'm really excited to get to see this kind of culminate from the very beginning and see where it goes and how it expands and how it fits its way into the nail polish community. I think they're doing really cool stuff right out the gate with a lot of their programs. I think that getting everybody involved is really cool. And I'm excited to see how they do. 
Um, like I said, on November 12th, they are unveiling that new bottle and cap. So if you're interested in that, that's when that's happening. And uh, before they do their official, I think, full hard launch at the beginning of next year, they're still having that 20% off of the bottles. So I would definitely check that out if you are interested in this brand. I will link their Instagram as well as their shop down below. Those are not affiliate links, just so you guys know where to go. So that is Moxie Nail Varnish. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think. Are you excited to try them out? Do you enjoy trying new brands? I really love trying new brands lately and especially, like I said, ones that are more gender neutral. And so I'm excited to see how this goes. I'm excited to see this brand grow and expand. Let me know your thoughts down below. And I'm also going to link their website as well as their Instagram in the description box. Those are not affiliate links. It's just so that you guys can go check them out. Go take a look, see what their colors are like. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.